Covering the Treasure Coast tonight, the search continues for a high-tech car thief in Martin County, a man captured on surveillance video using a device to program a key fob that he used to steal a Corvette. Our Angela Rozier has the details and advice for drivers who have keyless entry vehicles. Well, officials here at the Martin County Sheriff's Office tell us this is not the first time a thief has cloned a key fob to steal a vehicle, but they say it's the first time it was captured on video. The Grinch appears to be wearing a red hoodie these days, and this $75,000 2019 Corvette he's about to steal appears to be this year's big ticket item. This particular criminal walked up to the car with a programming device and stood at the window of the car trying to get the uh, device to read the signal from the car and program a key fob that they had. Chief Deputy John Bootenseek says at first it didn't work. So the thief broke the window, climbed inside head first, and when he was finally able to get the device to read the signal while inside the car, he drove away. It took less than three minutes. It's extremely alarming how fast these criminals are able to come in there, use this program, get in the vehicle and drive off. Clearly they'd done some reconnaissance work before coming in there. The incident took place at this Stewart car dealership about a week ago. Investigators say the crook disabled the car's OnStar device. They believe a crew of traveling organized criminals who came into Martin County are targeting keyless entry vehicles. It's the first time we've actually had a video that was that was that clear of this crime taking place. He says you can protect your vehicle by making sure your alarm is set if you have one. Park in the garage or where your surveillance camera can see the vehicle and purchase your own tracking device. That may not keep it from getting stolen initially, but it'll help us track it quickly and recover the car. If anyone recognizes the man seen in that surveillance video, well, they are urged to contact detectives here at the Martin County Sheriff's Office. In Stewart, Angela Rozier, WPBF 25 News.